Oh my god, my toothbrush dead. Oh my god, I pulled something. Pulled something in my sleep. <laughs> what? Ow. Hey, chicken. What's up? Nothing. Just in Jamaica. What are you guys doing with that? I found two different excursions. And so I want to go to this blue hole and there was a waterfall and like these rapids. And so I left it up to the group which to do. Have so much fun. Be safe. Alright. I love you, baby. I love you. Kiss. Austin! What? You wanna do something? No. Okay, I'm putting my bands in on. I'm ready to go to the blue whale hole or whatever it's called. Yeah, not for a while. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go to the pool. I feel like you're jumping an action packed day, so I don't want to keep jumping until then. It is an action packed day. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Angel. How's it going? Oh, he's called you before. I saw my day. Are you at work? No, I'm gonna get ready to go snowboarding here in a minute. You're going snowboarding? I'm going cliff jumping, so. Huh. Room service. <laughs> hey. Hey, stud. Is my door open? God damn it. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? I'm okay. Room looks good. You got your panties on the floor. <laughs> no. Clearly no action last night. No action. Let's go out of here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, man. Let's swing too hard, Chariot. I am not disappointed in our accommodations, I'll look, say that. I, I love Jamaica. How many times have you, you been here? Oh, look, I grew up here. My best friend is Jamaican. Spent my summers here. My mom's first stepfather, Ed Fleming. His uncle was Ian Fleming, right. who wrote all the James Bond novels. And at Goldeneye, where I I've been it. to. Of course. At St. Louis Rios, which you're supposed to go to today. It's you're actually not really going? quite beautiful. I got work. Maybe I'll see you later. No problem. I have to be honest, last night, I got lost trying to find my room last night. <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> labyrinth. <laughs> After the dinner, I walked to get a nightcap, and I saw Taylor and JT walking the other way, and I was like, boy. You could take a shot and spit the shot in each other's mouths. Okay, I could do that. Okay. JT! <laughs> if they hook up, like, that's really sad for her and not, that's not any, no, 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 that's not anything against JT. <laughs> I think if they did hook up, then it is a revenge ploy. Single Taylor is a dangerous woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think Taylor's of this ilk that she thinks that she needs a guy. What are you if you don't have a boyfriend, you know? Um, but that's a whole other discussion. Just pump the brakes, deep breath, like it's time to be more like Paige. <laughs> you know? So the whole purpose of this trip was, was to introduce us to her properly, hang out, yes. see how his friends integrate with her. Yeah, and it didn't it didn't work out, she's busy. Blew him off, it seems like Craig assumed he was coming with Paige. But I also know that <clears throat> Craig is delusional and thinks the world is flat. She yeah. should she should be here. Yeah. Man, I don't have faith in any relationships anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hot out here. I know. Do you need some sunscreen? I you, actually put some. You put on. some on already. I'm gonna get burned. We're not gonna know because I have a spray tan on. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my gosh, it's hot. I know. Well, I mean, we're about to go jump off of a cliff. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny running into you and JT. <laughs> there was some flirting. <laughs> I genuinely have a really good time with JT. He makes me laugh, but I feel like he would be a lot to handle. Like, <laughs> JT was like, let's grab a drink and we'll sit out on the porch and chat. And then, like, like 4 a.m. later, literally, like, bottle of beer. Yeah. 
bottle of Viv. That was, yeah, interesting. I don't see her and JT together, but maybe Taylor thinks that JT is her only friend and ally on the trip. I mean, I've been on the outs with everyone and it's not a good feeling. But yeah, I mean, obviously I haven't spoke to you since JT's. Yes, there was a picture that was sent out to you that you could not see anything. I saw your tits and vagina. What? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that you're some better than thou, because you're not. I apologize for that. For me, it was just the fact that, you know, I was getting fed all these things about you that just didn't match up to what I've known or seen of you. You know, I appreciate your apology and like, yeah, have I been going through a tough time? Absolutely. I do think you are a good person, but I hate the whole Olivia part. Yeah, I mean, I've apologized multiple times, and then for some reason now it keeps coming up. Like, my friend just texted me, and she was like, please tell me you didn't sleep with Austin. I was like, what? She sent me, like, a page six post. Why somebody had to stir the pot, I don't know.